Good morning, welcome to another video. We are at the gym, it's Monday morning, and it's nine o'clock, late start today. That's okay, because uh, if you guys remember yesterday, I talked about how uh, the low carb bread and, and tortillas have been messing me up. Well, I haven't eaten them in three days, and this morning I had an awakening multiple times. It was very rough. I immediately weighed myself after. I lost two pounds. <laughs> I had to wait until the, the rumbly and my tumblies was over. But we are here at the gym. It is, I think, a chest and shoulder day. And then we gotta go to the grocery store because we still have not, I know it's like every video right now, it's like, I have to go to the grocery store. I know, I don't like going this much, but I have to like actually grocery shop for the week and not just camping. I'm starting to feel and see a difference with these mobility exercises. I feel like my body is just moving better in general. If if you're interested, I have a link down below for the program I've been using. Workout done. I didn't film a lot just because like it's gonna get repetitive. It's the same four workouts every week. I took my pre-workout today for the first time in I don't know how long and it's um bucked up I think what LFG or LGS I don't remember but there's like thermo stuff in there to help burn fat but it also helps you sweat I am so sweaty I didn't spend any time in the sauna but it feels like I did my clothes are soaked with sweat and I only did half a scoop because it has like 230 milligrams of caffeine and I'm not about that <laughs> maybe if uh I didn't drink coffee beforehand, like this morning. So I did half a scoop and I definitely felt it. It also has some stimulants in there to, you know, get a nice pump. It helps you like with mind and muscle connection. So I'm going to start using that every workout, like a half a scoop, just to see if it helps with my weight loss. I weighed myself this morning I was 288.6. I'm still up. I was down to like, what, 284 or 285. So still up. We're going to just keep working at it. I'm going to start weighing myself every day and doing a weekly average because I want to figure out what foods I need to stay away from or like they make me bloat just to be conscious of it because I really want to get in the 270s before I go back to school. That's the goal. I want to be 275. That'd be fantastic by July 29th. So we have a lot of work to do. My knee is feeling, uh, it was feeling uh, this morning, but then I took my Meloxicam and it was feeling better. And it's just, I'm gonna have to like put a cast on it for me to stop moving around. I just, I have so much anxious energy. It's so hard to just sit there all day. I have to figure it out. Like editing is a nice two hour break every day just sitting there. So thanks for that guys, you're helping me heal. But uh, right now we're going to go, I was gonna go to Aldi, but I still don't have a quarter in here, which is so frustrating. Why do I do this to myself? Do I have any cash? I don't think I have any cash either. We have to figure out the quarter situation because I definitely wanna go to Aldi to save money because. Okay, so I'm really hungry. I didn't want to just go get a protein bar. It's about lunchtime. It's 1029. And uh, I saw this hack on TikTok that I wanted to try. And I don't normally ever get uh, Chick-fil-A for, well, if you know, you know. But like, I'm just wanting real food without having to cook it. And this is like the closest thing you can do get to real food, I feel like. But um, are these the same? They are the same size. Ooh, that is hot. But I have an eight piece chicken, like grilled chicken nugget. I wish I had a bigger container. And then like on the hack, this is like 500 calories. Um, I'll have to look. I'll link that. If I can find the reel down below, I'll, I'll uh, include it. But you just like put the mac and cheese in with the chicken. That's, do you guys see the steam? It's so hot. And then I have a zesty barbecue. He also put blue cheese and ranch on it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna do barbecue. I should have asked for a bigger bowl and they wouldn't have told me no because it's Chick-fil-A. I've never had Chick-fil-A mac and cheese before. I didn't even know they had mac and cheese. I was such a noob when I was ordering. Ordering, I'm like, uh, can I get the grilled chicken nuggets? And she's like, yeah, how many? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like eight. And I was like, do you guys have like mac and cheese? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, do buffalo? So I have the buffalo sauce. I'm going to use it sparingly. It It's a zesty buffalo sauce. It definitely doesn't look it's pretty watery, so I bet it's like lower in calories, but you guys know how I love buffalo sauce. 
Oop, I just got it on my shirt. I'm just gonna carefully, wait a minute, this would be a good thumbnail. Carefully, you know, I'll add more after I eat it down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good buffalo sauce. That's not like, you know how some buffalo sauces are like in a million calories? That's not this. <laughs> it's very hot though. I'm gonna burn the crap out of my mouth. Could I sue them? <sighs> I would never. I'm not a hateful person. Okay. Mmm. So, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit and I'm gonna put it in my food tracker. Okay. So, this hack is 400. I'm sorry, I took my my phone holder out of my truck to do that live and I haven't put it back. So you're just gonna have to deal with like, like this is how you're being propped up right now. <laughs> I'm just like putting you right there. But anyway, it's 411 calories, 32 grams of protein. I was right, the packet of buffalo sauce is only 25 calories. The guy added blue cheese and ranch, so I'm, I'm guessing that's where like the 500 something calories came from. So I can definitely use more of this because I tracked the whole thing. Ooh, buddy, this is really good. This is such a good hack for like um, road trips and you're not eating a salad because I feel like when you're trying to lose weight or just being more conscious about how much protein and calories you're consuming, like the only option you ever have is a salad. And salads are just, they steal the joy out of your life after a while. Also, they gave me two forks and there's nothing worse than a place giving you more silverware than you need because then you feel like you're being fat shamed or something. Like this is enough food for two people. I'm sure that's not it, but um, if you've been overweight your whole life like you that's just how you think really because you're really anxious about it all the time so this has some macaroni and cheese buffalo sauce and a piece of chicken all together wow this is great this is so good mm. the chicken does have like a tad bit artificial like grilled chicken paste which is annoying i wish they didn't have it but the macros on it is good it's like a hundred and something calories for an eight piece so i could have got the 12 piece to bump up the protein that would have been a lot of chicken though and then this was <laughs> with tax it was 11.15 not cost effective but very tasty and like a treat yourself moment change of plans this is obviously not editing stevie here and i sat here and watched for a whole nother minute of this clip waiting for me to say aldi and it never happened what is my life i wish you guys knew how common this was like what i could literally be the adhd poster child i swear i never finish sentences i don't know if you guys have picked up on that but it's something that i definitely this is obviously not why i said i was gonna go but I didn't realize I had like $30 in my wallet, like cash, and I needed mahi, and I don't know if all, all they has mahi right now. It's not like an everyday thing for them. So I'm gonna get mahi here, and then get change. Hopefully it's a quarter. <laughs> so four ounces is 100 calories with 21 grams of protein. I really don't think you could eat that. What's that? One gram of fat. Amazing. So, very on brand with Stevie, uh, the, the plan changed. I saw these and I was gonna get the chicken fillets at Aldi. Listen, it just made more sense, okay? And this is why. One, one fillet is 210 calories. I'm pretty sure all these fillets are like 320 plus. Two, 21 grams of protein. I don't know. I think all these is around like 17 or 18 and then three the price like a bag of Aldi that has maybe six fillets in it is seven or eight dollars where that was 15 with a lot more at least twice more if not more than that so it just made sense I feel like like I don't know the price I guess I don't know I had to look at the price it was 15.99 or was it $14.99? It was $14.99. So we'll have to see if it was a good price. But the macros are so much better on those. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to go in to Aldi and ask for a quarter. And just suck it up. We are home. $114 at Aldi. 40 
No, $37 at Costco. Aldi was so much just because uh, I got this Grill Master box and um, Kate and I talked about getting it. So I'm interested to see how big this meat actually is. I'm not gonna show you everything. I'll, I'll put in a picture of the cart just because we, I have a lot of things to do. I am super sweaty, I wanna take a shower. I need to get today's video up, it's done, edited. I just have to upload it to YouTube and make the thumbnail. So I need to do that. I need, I just, ooh, okay. All right, so we have two New York strips, two pork loin chops, two wrapped, I think they're ribeye, I'll have to check, four burgers, two ribeye, or I bet these are filets. Uh, wrapped beef top sirloin. Okay, so this is uh, beef tops, beef top sirloin, four burgers, two chicken breasts, which I'm gonna put in the fridge right now to thaw. And these chicken breasts look like they were split. So this is uh, one, two, honestly, this could be four dinners, honestly, because Kate doesn't eat that much meat. But I'll probably make like a steak and eggs or something from the leftovers. So three, four, five, six, and then in there seven, that's seven dinners, $60. So less than $10 a dinner. And plus like, I'm sure we're gonna have leftover steak like these. We're gonna have leftover of that. We're gonna have leftover of these. These are thick boys. So like for us, it's a great deal. Uh, we're not gonna have to get meat in a while, probably just chicken breast. Uh, the reason why my my grocery bill was so much, usually it's around the 60 to $80 range, as long as we don't buy anything from the Isle of Shane, is I also got chicken wings. They didn't have fresh chicken wings, so I had to get frozen. That's gonna last us all summer. I got the, uh, I got also ground beef. And then at Costco, I got those chicken fillets and the mahi mahi. So we're set on, on protein for a good long while. Okay, for dinner, we're gonna have carrot chips with chicken sandwiches and I think a broccoli, like a low calorie broccoli salad. So I just have carrots in a bowl. We're going to put a little bit of avocado oil on them and then some Kinder's hickory brown sugar seasoning and toss them, put them in the air fryer, let them do their thing. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then I already put the chicken in, forgetting about the carrots. So I'm just gonna take the chicken out for a few, like a, maybe 10 minutes. Just wanna give it the, the carrots some time to cook. And then we need to work on the salad. I'm gonna link the salad recipe down below. It's a low calorie one. I just thought it sounded really good. And I like cutting my broccoli up into tiny little florets. I don't like big florets. Okay, so dinner is done. We have broccoli, skinny broccoli salad. Uh, the recipe said to use Greek yogurt. I did half and half light mayo, half Greek yogurt, just because Kate doesn't really like Greek yogurt. We got carrot chips. That's like a fourth of a bag of carrot chips. <laughs> Tastes just like sweet potato. And then we don't have any pickles. I have a buffalo chicken sandwich. Mm, this is so good. I'll put the macros on screen because I don't know what they are. Mm, this doesn't feel like dieting at all. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, it is shred result time. We're going to be looking at the last eight weeks results and then the last, uh, what? nine months results of se since September of 2023. And then finally, since my biggest weight at 3.30. So from 4.14 to 6.10, here are my results. My stomach is changing shape. Um, I should have like, I don't know, the band goes up past my belly button now. And, and you know, I don't really have a belly that hangs out. I should have just had my belly hang out so you guys can see the, the loose skin that I'm getting around that area. You can kind of see right there. I also want to point out my ankles. Just my legs in general are a little slimmer 
just a little bit. Um, trying to see any other changes. If you see any other changes in this picture, let me know. But as you can tell, this entire area is pretty much gone. Uh, my love handles gone. Very excited about that. The next picture here, you can see some more love handles gone and you can see that band going up further. These shorts fit completely different now. You can see kind of more loose skin in this area, which kind of makes it look a little bigger, honestly, but it, it's not. If you look down at my ankles, you can tell that I lost some fat off my ankles. You can tell that this little bit is getting a little bit bigger. If you're wondering what this little guy is right here, I got a mole burned off when I was a kid. So all in all, in these two pictures, the biggest difference is probably this waistline and how I had like an apron belly kind of thing going on and now I can tuck it in my pants. Back here you can tell that this bra and these shorts just fit better. Like the bra goes down further, the pants go up further so there's less back to be seen. It's hard to tell the difference just because I kind of wish I would have took a picture without anything on so we could really see the changes in my back. But as you can see, like this crease right here was right there. And now like all of this right here is where I'm really slimming down. I'm very happy about it. Down to my legs. Um, trying to see if I see any difference here. Yeah, still, I still see the, the shape of my legs are a little different. Not much because I had about a six pound weight loss. And then towards the end of the shred, the very end of the shred, I jumped up to a two pound gain. So it, it I ended with a four pound total weight loss. Now let's go from September to June and here is the difference. I have lost this bra. I don't know where it's at. But if you look, I wish I would have done a different pose. My bad. But really I've been shedding everything right here. If you look at the other picture, like you can tell it's like my stomach is just sucking up the fat and I'm getting this loose skin right here. And you can tell like a little bit is happening. And you can see, you can really see the difference in the loose skin in my thighs in these two pictures. There is a little cellulite right here, but not as much. And I know most people are like, ew, gross. But this is, just looks like progress to me and I'm so happy about it. It just means that my body is morphing into the person I've always wanted to be. Uh, let's see any other changes in these two pictures. I'm not really seeing anything. Again, different poses, but you can really tell the size different in these two pictures. Again, with the cellulite on the thighs. And you can also like see maybe like a little muscle right here if you can tell like or really just my belly flattening because for here if you look it's like belly and then straight down legs Oop. but here it's belly and then ooh, look thighs there's like the belly's not past the thighs anymore so that's a difference I wish like I had a different pose so I could see the changes in my arm. Again, same thing with the back. And you can see like my back was a little inny right there and we're becoming an Audi. We're becoming flat and that's very exciting. Different angles a little bit. You can tell there's no bagginess at all in these shorts when I'm wearing them, but you can tell here, here's some bag. So that just means this part of my body, the thighs have gotten a little smaller. I still have these little bumpy thingies, whatever they are. I'd love to get rid of them. Oh, actually, you know what? This one kind of looks like it's gone a little bit. I do have a baker cyst on this one, um, but it's not this thing. A baker cyst is usually like a bump on the back of your your knee like this part of your body but since I have fat on my knee you actually have to like push down to feel it it's not like protruding and then from the very start when I was 330 pounds to actually I was not 330 pounds in this picture I don't know how much I weighed in that I'm gonna say around 310 that is my final answer. You can tell the huge difference. One of the parts of my body that I was super self-conscious about was my love handle area. Like you can see my arms would rest up against it and now you can see my, my arms. Look at that. 
Look at that love handle gap. That is what I like to see. No gap, gap. I've also noticed that when I put my legs together, and this picture doesn't show it, but my skin, my legs would touch each other all the way down to my feet, and that's not the case anymore. You could tell that the bra is more full here. It's hanging down more here. I have a lot of loose skin on my uh, fun bags, whatever you want to call them, my breasticles. Uh, let's see what else. My shoulders look slimmer in the two pictures. I just look all around smaller, just a smaller person in this picture. My biggest takeaway though is, is this love handle gap. Low key, very excited about that. So that's the weight loss update. We still have a lot more weight to lose, but I'm happy with the progress. I know for some people, they probably think that this is not fast enough progress, but for me, I've gone an entire year without any binge eating or any sort of, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. I eat all the food. This diet is so restrictive. None of that. I've just been living my life, being more mindful of what I'm eating and being more active. But we're going to wrap up today's video here. You can hear Butch, but we're going to wrap up today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you could hit the thumbs up button, helps the channel so much. Everybody who has been commenting has been helping so much. I love reading your comments. I try my best to respond to every single one, but until tomorrow, friends, be kind to yourself. Bye. <music>